Welcome to my YouTube channel where we demonstrate and discuss everything related to theatrical and entertainment production crafts. Please subscribe to get the latest updates, posts, and demonstrations. While I will focus primarily on safety in the shops and comprehensive training and operating procedures for tools and machinery, I'll also demonstrate and discuss practical applications like flat and platform construction, scene painting, and more. If you'd like to see something specific, please let me know in the comments. Once again, please subscribe and power up the alert bell to get the most up-to-date notifications about new content. All right, let's build a two by eight platform. I'd build a four by eight, but we don't really need any more four by eights in our stock. I probably don't need a two by eight, but let's build something that's on the eight foot length standard size. So we get kind of a sense of standard spacing for our cross members. I'm right-handed, but I've gotten pretty good at operating and doing most tasks with my left hand. It's a good thing to be able to do both and get uh, comfortable using both your right and left hand, whether you're right or left-handed, because you are going to be put in a position under a platform in tight spaces, and you're going to need to use the other hand that you're not comfortable with. So it's good to work the muscles and the skills in both hands. a little crooked on me, so I'm going to, and it just spot, spat back out. Got our platform frame exterior assembled. It's got a little bit of a twist to it that's happening because some of the boards are a little bit warpy. And this one actually has a little split in it. So if I want to fix that, it, I can change out the whole board or I can do my toenail uh, screw in that. And I think I'm going to do that. Three screws on each joint, get them evenly spaced out. Don't crowd the corners, uh, don't crowd the edges. This one's splitting, so we want to take that out and we want to 
relieve that stress. I should probably replace the whole board, but I'm going to, for the sake of this demonstration, put a toenail in. And that one also split. Okay. So, I'm happy here. This wood is not happy. Didn't get one quite in the corner where I wanted it. Just gonna put that first one back in. Uh, we want to put our spaces in here and our whole length of our platform is eight feet. So we want to put our spaces in every two feet. So I wanna start from one end. I wanna measure it to two feet. four feet, and six feet. And it's important that on the other side, I measure starting from the same end. If I measure from the other side and there is any error in my construction, these are not going to line up properly. It should be the same either direction, but it's important that you have some consistency of your layout and your structure and technique. Now, before I put my pieces in the middle here, and this is the same for flat construction, I wanna make sure I'm square before I move ahead. There are a couple of different ways you can check for square, and your accuracy of your measurement of your square is only as good as the size of your square. This tri square can only measure this distance and this distance. That's a real short distance to test for square. I can be square here, but I might not be square two or three feet away. Same thing here on the inside. Same thing with our speed square. I've only got a foot here, 10, 12 inches, and I've only got 10, 12 inches here. And my speed square only fits in the middle. Technically, we want the outside to be square. We don't care if the inside is square. The inside should be square, but if we want our platform to be accurate, we should be measuring the outside, not the inside. It's the outside measurements that matter. If there's any sort of variation in thickness in your lumber and your stock, the inside measurements might have some variance on square. Your best bet with a square is to get your largest square possible, and that's gonna be your framing square, which has 16 inches this way and 24 inches that way. That allows me to put it on here and I get the longest spacing possible. 16 inches in this direction and 24 inches in this direction. Again, I don't wanna measure on the inside, I wanna measure on the outside. But that's also only so accurate because that can only get me two feet, 16 by two feet. So how do I check for square? I measure the two diagonals and my two diagonals should be exactly the same if I am square. And if I'm not square, I need to tweak this platform frame into square now before I put in any other, other cross supports. Otherwise the cross supports are going to start to lock it into out of square position. So I need it to be square first before I put my cross supports in. So I'm gonna check the two diagonals and I'm gonna tweak it if I need to tweak it and then I'll check again until I get it exactly where I want it. I've got a video on how to check diagonals but always make sure you've got the same point, uh, whether it's the center or the edge of your tape measure. Whatever you do on this side, I do exactly the same on the other side. I've got 98 and three quarters. And 98 and a little bit more than three quarters. So I want to give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a tweak this way. Ninety-eight and a little bit more than three quarters. Perfect. Now I'm ready to put my cross pieces in. The 
This is where our tri-square comes in handy. We want this vertical support to be actually square up and down, so now we should adjust it left and right till we get it square before we put in that second screw. Centering my board on my mark, I'm making sure that I'm flush here on the top. I can check square again, but I'm going to have a lot of trouble tweaking this back in the position if it's not square because these are short pieces and it has a little twist to it. Platform construction, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Now we're going to put the lid on. And when I start with the lid, I'm going to probably want to screw along this shortest edge first and get that all square and flush. And that way, if I've got any tweaking, I can tweak it along the long edge as I go along and I can make it all nice and square. If I do the long edge first and then there's a little bit of a parallelogram thing going on here, it's gonna be harder for me to push that shorter edge together as opposed to if this long edge is attached then I can uh, I can tweak the platform in relationship to the lid a whole lot easier. I'm reusing this piece of plywood but we can assume it was a brand new piece of plywood at one point. It should be pretty square because I checked my square already I shouldn't have to tweak it a whole lot. Looks like I'm pretty pretty darn pretty darn good. So I'm going to make sure I'm flush with this edge first, all the way along here. Flush with the sides, flush with the sides. Um, I'm not going to go with these some of these holes where they've got them. This one's going to go directly onto that knot. Same thing with this one. I don't want to go directly onto the, that knot. That's going to be a difficult thing for me. This is right here on the edge, so uh, that's going to be a bad uh, connection point, so I'm going to go right next to it. I'm going to tap that. Tap it back. Okay, here we go. Make sure it's snug and flush before I go on to the second one. I can reuse this hole. that one. This one's going to go, if I use that hole, it's going to go into that knot, so I'm not going to do that. I'm 
it go there. And I'm not going to go there again because it's going to put it there. I'm going to put a new one right there. Make sure I'm below the surface on all those screws. Okay, so now as I go along, I'm just going to put a screw in and as I go along, I'm going to adjust this. I've got a lot of play here so I can, I can tweak this this way, I can tweak this that way. I've got a lot more ability to adjust my platform as I go. Start there. And here. Some of these are a little bit crowding to the edge, so I'm going to put my own screw in a little bit further down. than my platform. Did I cut things wrong? Or is my plywood longer than my feet? About an eighth of an inch longer than eight feet, but I'm about a quarter inch shy. Hmm. Curious. Since I'm reusing this plywood, my screw holes here where they used to go across these cross supports should be the same, but we're going to double check and we're going to demonstrate the way you would do it as if you were using a brand new piece of plywood. So if you haven't used a chalk line, you put it on there, I line it up with these screws over here, and I snap. Now I've got a blue line to follow. Line it up over there. Snap. And at some point I need to reload the chalk. So I think I get one more snap. I need to reload it. I pull it back in, pull it out, and chalk line. That's it. I didn't do this edge here because I got to deal with this and I have to decide if I'm going to add a quarter inch thing there to fill that out or if I'm going to trim it down. Looks good. Looks great. I'm happy with it. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time with more technical theater content.